But no matter what, it's gonna be hype. Oh yeah, so okay. So Santiago telling himself, you know, Falco's not working. Let's go Sheik. Uh yeah, and and Sa Santiago Sheik is actually what in the world? He's actually super sick. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Very different style of Sheik. Oh, to completely face different style of Sheik. You're not gonna see a lot of those react those super long uh, reaction text exchange chains uh, that you see from face roll. Instead, you're gonna be seeing a lot of approaches. Whoa! And just crazy strings of uh, hits put together that don't seem like they should work. Yeah, but one, they do. An one after another. But Santiago finds a way. Yeah. Uh, Santiago will just like try to. You know, he'll create opportunities with his, like, really slick movement. Okay. Oh, way to read that straight-up uh, recovery and catch with the forward smash. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this switch-up from Santiago is, uh, in their last set, uh, Fox Falco, Santiago found uh, found it very hard to... Uh, nice. ...to create his own pressure and uh -huh. instead played a very defensive game uh, around Kira's Fox. Uh, and I believe that uh, Sheik does a better job of playing that re defensive game against Fox than Falco mm -hmm. does. Uh, I think that uh, in the Falco-Fox matchup, you need to put a bit more offense as Falco in, in order to and, and have more of a trade-off in order to keep the Fox uh, honest. Um, so I, I do really like this this switch up from yeah. Santiago. Whereas, like, uh, which isn't to say, like, uh, you know, building off of what uh, I was saying earlier, mm -hmm. it's not to say that like Santi doesn't grab. It's like when he does get his grabs, he does a lot off them too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's and, just uh, very different. It's actually, it's actually one of my favorite parts about his chic is like seeing what options he picks after. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the oh, dude. Look at this. Ooh. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> Kira not impressed. Just walked up and up smashed. Able to use that invincible ledge dash. Uh, Fox yeah, that, that was actually really clean. So yeah. Good stuff on Kira. Uh, Kira is uh, living with uh, Connor the Kid right now, who's known for his incredibly uh, perfect ledge dashes, and Kira seems to be picking up a little bit of that in his gameplay Yo, as well. Yo, shout out to Connor. Dude, miss you, dude. First time I show up to something, Connor's not here. That makes me real sad. <laughs> Probably doing like real people stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, for finals <laughs> or something. Yeah, probably doing like the real life adulting <laughs> stuff, dude. Ugh. All right, so Kira's back in an edge guard situation to take a full stock lead. He responds to that recovery on stage with another back air, and then Ooh. he rolls up or stands up and gets the down smash in order to take the stock yeah. up a full stock here on Dreamland yeah, in the I, game one. I don't think there was a chance to do an opposite tech there because he did it really like mm. far. Oh. Okay, I really like, okay, Santiago way dashing back in order to kind of like uh, read and react to whatever option that uh, Dave picked. And then Dave Wise is just standing up in place with all that space he had. Oh! Kira's a nice really spacing. Really effectively using his the needle. Uh, Ooh, that's it. Yo! Why hit him? I could just throw stuff at you, dude. Nice. Good stuff. Last stock situation, anybody's game. Uh, I think Kira's been doing a great job of using his uh, run up shield. Uh, to really force uh, Santiago to, to think about any uh, aerial approaches that he does um, and punish him when he does go for those too early. Yeah. Um, Santiago is going to need to mix in uh, some safe pressure and some grabs in order to, to challenge that approach by Kira. Yeah. So Santiago has been like keeping been uh, keeping him honest though with these really intelligently placed pairs though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like kind of just like uh, mixing up his empty hops with like reverse short hopping mm -hmm. and then putting in sometimes putting nice. in a pair sometimes not. Exactly, and, and this is what uh, Kira was doing to him in the oh, last set, exactly. where he was using those uh, empty hops empty and back airs. Exactly. Same exact thing on the other side here with the Sheikado. Oh, oh, that what needle! A, what? What a tech, though, And but he gets caught by the back air. That's going to be the game. That was How really... How did that needle hit? That was insane. How did that needle hit? Holy moly, Kira yeah. Was, where, was, okay, oh, Griffin, there. Griffin was so unlucky with his needle last oh. game. Santi putting on all the right needles, showing him, hey... He was already at the ledge. Needed. Yeah, he was How already there, dude. It? That was insane. Oh, man. What a great game one. So... This means that Santiago gets the counterpick advantage, but let's see if uh, Kira can make it a set by taking this game yeah. too. Th this is the classic Fox counterpick. Uh, everything about this wow. stage. Look at this damage he's racking up. That wasn't any tech chasing. Holy moly. That That's was just hey, going out there hit, 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 and hit, hit, messing hit, up your opponent, dude. Um, he had a couple dash attacks, a couple forward tilts, mixing it up really nicely. Um, you know, it's, it's stuff you don't really see from Sheiks too often. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of the game now is moving towards, like, optimizing your Sheik, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's a lot easier, it's a lot safer to just kind of go for those, like, like, you know, rinse and repeat kind of uh, straight chains. But, like, man, it's what makes, it makes watching, it, it's why watching Santi is so much fun. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Good to fair. Oh, he knew it. Yeah, he knew. Like, yeah, there was uh, yeah, not a lot of things he could have yeah, done there. He, he really limited Kira's options down to basically just up B straight back to stage and just covered that with a fair. And there's nothing Kira could do. 
Yeah. One of the things. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, one <laughs> of the things that I think is really cool about the way that Santi plays all of his characters is he really effectively utilizes the tech traps on platforms where you put someone on a platform and say, yeah, you can tech this, but you only have this little amount of space to go. So w regardless of where you tech, I'm going to know I'm gonna where you're at something, and yeah. I'm going to beat you up for it. Uh, so it's really cool oh to see God. him do this. that in this case as well as with his Falcon. Yeah. What a back. You, you can tell how Santi's feeling because his movement, like the, the better he does, the more his movement gets like uh, crazier. Mm -hmm. And right now he is uh, he's grooving. He's on fire. Okay, yeah, I know. Wow! I know for Let's a dash fact. up smash. Yeah, I know for a fact that reverse fair is completely on purpose. Uh, he definitely intentionally goes for those all the time against me. Double <laughs> jab really to annoying. down smash. And he grabs a ledge, able to take the stock. He's up three stocks, stocks to one on Kira's counter pick. Yeah, really convincing uh, game it's looking like right now. And uh, Dave looking like he's not as sure how to fight uh, his former main <laughs> as he was fighting uh, Falco. Mm -hmm. And uh, once again, shout outs Oop. to Squid. Uh, Yo, Squid, where you at? Giving, giving Kira that practice uh, on his Falco. <laughs> Yo, Koma, I see you, dude. <laughs> oh, wave shines. Kira not ready to give up on this one. He's moving quite a bit, too. Woo! No. Mm. Oh. Gets grabbed into an up smash. Oh, oh the bear! The bear came out way too late. Or not? The, sorry, the dare came out uh, really early on that. Whoa! Gets it that time. <gasps> this drops through be... bear. And Look at there's that. nothing Dave can do. Using the needles to cover the forward B option, and then just reverse reverse needle to grab the ledge. Good stuff. So that's game two. That was game. Where? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. game two. Uh oh. All right. Kira goes so straight back. He thinks this is best Kira. Chance yeah, I game. think you know this makes sense. Um, yeah. Wasn't as close as I like to see it for a run back, but it makes sense because you know this is like objectively, I think, mm -hmm. Fox uh, optimal stage against Sheik. You know, and Dave is one of those players who likes to optimize things. And yeah. this is you know, and when Fox plays optimally, wow. that's what can happen. You get zero to this. <laughs> that was so fast. Yo, hashtag twenty XX guys. Even though there wasn't a lot of shines involved. <laughs> oh, jab reset into an up smash, but Kira's able to roll away. Oh. Once again, uh, Santiago uh, getting just a little bit too high. The hitbox of that uh, up air was, was above Fox's head as he was uh, tagging in place. Yeah. Nice uh, nair. Okay, Dave, Dave wow. uh, definitely slowing it way down. What definitely a threatening looking. dash dance. He was actually inside Santiago's shield uh, before he got that grab uh, and was able to dash dance right in that spacing, uh -oh. knowing that Santiago was going to choose the defensive option. I'll tell no, Nair. Okay. Goes for the Nair. He's keeping See, like, this I never chasing. know. I never know what Santi's going to pick next, dude. It's, huh? it's so fun. Nice shine in order to break up that uh, pressure, though. Ooh, Santi calls his movement out of shield oh. and gets a back air. Looks like he, Okay. Reverse Sick fair. reverse fair. Yeah. I was going to say, it looked like he dropped that edge guard by missing the bear, but uh, it's fine because he picked it up with a reverse fair anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Full needle storm. That hurts. That's, mm -hmm. like a, that's almost 20%, guys. On a full charge. You do, you do not want that to hit you. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed tech leading into lots of extra damage. Really smart, high recovery. There wasn't much Santiago do, could do to cover oh that. Man, Santi he... very quickly bringing it back. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things you, uh, I like to see from uh, Kira here is he knows he has the lead and he's willing to, to sit back a little bit, use the gun a bit more, and tack on that percent to hold on to that lead. Uh, oh, back here. And <laughs> this should be the stop. Oh, no, nice air interesting dodge. air dodge. Um, that was really good, because that's the first time he used it all set. Uh -huh. <laughs> I actually thought for a second that he had killed himself by doing it. Uh, Again? But, wow. Okay, I really like how we uh, tried to challenge uh, Fox getting up there. Good needles. Ooh, that needle. Yo, that was so fast. I do that, but it's not like that fast <laughs> when, when, when I like platform needle. All right, Kira gets the back air. This good should DI. Yo. be the stock. That was fantastic DI, actually. Oh, my yep. gosh. He was at the over 100%. He tried to do that get up to punish the... Uh, air dodge back on the stage, but because he was at that high percentage, he wasn't able to follow it up with a shine, and he ends up getting hit instead. Ooh. Boom! Catches a wave dash out of shield back with an up smash, and he's back up a full stop. Yep. <laughs> Let's see how Kira chooses to play in this situation. Does he want to yeah. go in a bit more, or does he want to uh, play it a little bit safer, a little bit slower, tack on some damage before he uh, really commits to anything lethal? Yeah. That, that's what I want to see. I want to see uh, him sit back and kind of just uh, take on that damage, do as much as he can. Mm. You know, you might as well, if you're you're down two games, you know, yeah. you, you you might as well just like, oh, Ooh. not like that, though. All right. Well, not, he's able to like take this. the first game of the set. Not like this. Back up to 2-1, Santiago's counterpick. All right. Okay. 
Uh, both character, both players are really moving effectively yeah. oh, this yeah. set. Uh, it's really it's been super fun to watch. Yeah, really interesting to see the way that they're threatening each other. Uh, hope to s hope that continues as they uh, continue to go at it. Oh wow! Just run just run up grab. That is not something you see from Zante a lot. I, I gotta say, mm -hmm. but actually, that's you know, and that's part of the strength of his uh, game too. Is that uh, his really offensive and like uh, combo based gameplay? It, it leads you not expect options like that. Mm -hmm. And, and we were talking about this earlier that uh, Kira was really effective. Oh, that air dodge barely avoids the shine. Um, we were talking about how Kira was uh, pretty effectively using run up shield to catch a lot of Santiago's defensive options. Um, and oh. the answer to that is grab. So uh, I really like that that raw run up grab uh, against Kira. Wow, that was such a that was such a smart up air. How is this combo still going? He's chic. You can't do that. Nah, he. Oh, dude, that was that was pretty sick. Okay, he's living. Yeah. Ooh. I will. I would have thought I, I, I wouldn't have had the balls to go to the ledge with that recovery issue. <laughs> that was yeah, that's, that's insane. Whew. Needles. No, oh no. Okay. What an interesting high recovery from uh, Kira. There you go. That sh this should be okay. Yeah, that's I was gonna say that should be it. <laughs> so uh, one thing that Kira usually likes to utilize a lot against uh, Captain Face Roll is uh, he'll use his shine when he's off stage, uh, both to to challenge the the needle play. And also to, to delay his... Oh, uh, shout out to Needle Play. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> to to uh, delay his, his recovery uh, and mess up uh, face roll's timing. It's something he hasn't opted to go for as much in this set, and I'm interested to, to know why that you is. You know, I'm sure because, like, Santi is... He is known for, like, putting out crazy hitboxes, mm -hmm. even as he's recovering. Like, he just... If, if he sees opportunities, he's going to take them. He's not he's not one to really play it safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting point. That that must be uh, yeah. That's just part his play the, style. Yeah, yeah, part of the the analysis that Kira is going through to make that decision. Wow! Nice up air. Way to catch him. Yeah, he keep he keeps his edge guard string going, and uh, if he gets yeah, mm -hmm. it makes it worth it. Oh, still going. Fantastic DI. Yeah. And that okay. should be it. Yeah, uh, let's hop near to cover pretty much all that options, and that's yeah, for more or less the only option. Fo uh, only angle Fox can do at that mm -hmm. that point. Seventeen damage from the full needle storm, <laughs> <laughs> and then two tilts, and we're already at forty three percent, guys. Ouch. Uh, the other thing to, to mention about uh, Santiago's edge guarding that's Ooh, really making... Oh my goodness. His move is earning him all of these kills. That needle. Are we going to have another classic? That's insane. This is this is really hard for Kira at this stage. He's going to have to put in a ton of work to make yeah. this comeback happen. Um, one of the other things I think that uh, Santiago's doing incredibly effectively with his edge guards is he's putting out those needles right near the ledge, which is keeping Kira from choosing the sh illusion shorten option. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he reads the roll in, able to keep that ch tech chase going. <laughs> Santiago actually tech chasing. <laughs> it's it's a rare footage, guys. <laughs> Kira going for that hard read with the charge forward smash, not able to connect. Needle oh, uh, <gasps> oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Come from? That needle those stops so the short. Late. And oh, he just, yep. he's doing it. He's yeah, doing it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Good stuff by Santiago. West Balls. All right. Okay. Time for grand finals. We've got West Balls versus Santiago. Uh, there's any number of characters.